So what we want to do today is we want to compare fractions. Let's think about 3 eighths and 2 fifths. So this is what 3 eighths looks like. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths. Let's take a look at 2 fifths. 1 fifth, 2 fifths. They look about the same, but they're not the same things. These are eighths, and these are fifths, apples and oranges. We need some way to compare them so they're like each other. So we want to use like fractions. Right now, everything over here is in eight pieces, and everything over here is in five pieces. Can we make them the same number of pieces so we can compare them the right way? Let's try that. So over here where we have eighths, Let's divide it into fifths as well. So I'm adding five spaces going down. You can see there's one, two, three, four, and five. Over here with the fifths, let's do the other side. Let's make this into eighths. So let's divide this into eight pieces. Two. Let's add some more there. Now that there we have four pieces, let's divide each of these. I want you to think about how many pieces are in each of these now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Under the eights, we have eight across the top and five across the side. And eight by five gives us 40 spaces. We have 40 spaces in this box now. How about in the other one? We have 5 across the top and 8 across the side. 5 by 8 also gives us 40. Now we have the same number of spaces, same area for each one of the pieces. Now we can make a comparison. Over here we have 40 spaces and how many are colored in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them. So 15 fortieths is the same as 3 eighths. And what do we have on the other side here? Well, we know we have 40 spaces now. How many are colored in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 2 fifths is the same as 16 fortieths. We can compare 15 fortieths to 16 fortieths to know more about these fractions. Let's think of this another way. What we want to make are like fractions. So let's try this. Let's set out 3 eighths over here, 2 fifths over here. We're going to multiply this by the number 1 fraction form in a moment. We know that when we multiply something by 1, it stays the same. Same with 2 fifths. We're going to multiply this also by the number 1 in just a moment so that we end up with something equivalent to 2 fifths and on top something equivalent to 3 eighths. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this a very special one. And we're going to be using the denominator of 2 fifths. Let's go ahead and make this 5 fifths. We know that 5 fifths equals 1. And below, multiplying 2 fifths by the denominator of 3 eighths, we'll make 8 eighths here. Let's see what we get here. 3 times 5 is 15. 8 times 5 is 40. And down below, 2 times 8 is 16. And 5 times 8 is 40. Again, we have like denominators, which is what we want to have. Now we can compare 15 fortieths to 16 fortieths. And when we do that, we're really comparing 3 eighths to 2 fifths. Let's look at another kind of comparison. Which one is greater? 
We know 3 eighths is the same as 15 fortieths. And we know 2 fifths is the same as 16 fortieths. And we know that 16 fortieths is more than 15 fortieths. So we can say that 2 fifths is greater than 3 eighths. Which one is lesser? Again, 15 fortieths and 16 fortieths. 15 fortieths is less than 16 fortieths. So we can say that 3 eighths is less than 2 fifths. Let's try something more. We could ask which one is closest to one whole. Let's use a number line to help us. Put one hole here. Could be anywhere. And let's put what we know about our fractions above on this line. We know that 3 eighths is the same thing as 15 fortieths, not quite a half. We also know that 2 fifths is equal to 16 fortieths. Which one of these two is closest to one whole? Sixteen fortieths is closer, so we can say that two fifths is closer to one whole. Let's do one more. Which of the two fractions is closest to one half? Let's use a number line again. I'll put out one half, maybe about here. Again, three eighths is the same as fifteen fortieths. Two fifths is the same as sixteen fortieths. Which of these two is closest to one half? Sixteen fortieths is this far from one half, and fifteen fortieths is this far. Now we know that 16 fortieths is closer, so we can say that 2 fifths is closer You can make other comparisons with other fractions as well, as long as you find like denominators, that will always help. And don't forget to use number lines too, so you can see the comparisons as well. Hope this has been helpful.